Okay, so we have come down to a little French lake. We've got some spectators here. Um, a small, uh, small child. You see? He's come to touch the first ever carp. Here he goes, touching it. Now I've been here literally two minutes and uh, I've already managed to catch this one. I'll go through what I caught it on, but lovely colour, nice dark fish and I doubt it's very be being caught very much at all. Um, but on a little white pop-up, I'll show you the rig and everything. I'll get this back out and might get another because they're obviously having this. So look at that, lovely. So I've come down to a little lake that I know of that holds some carp probably into the low 30s and um, I've decided to come down because it's still early in the season there's no one here apart from some people that walk by um, and uh, yeah decided to give it a shot so I've just bought a little ticket that lasts me the, uh, the week which should do me fine um, so I'll show you the bait that I'm using. It's just a little, it's a, it's a little DNA bait, it's, um, little pop up, little white one. Um, now obviously it's a little park lake, and they've got ducks on here, so there's going to be, you know, the the usual um, bread and things coming in. So what I've got is, I'll show you the layout, but there's a little stream that comes in and there's a nice flow and then at the bottom of this stream there's a, it's rock solid, it's just like a, where the natural lake bed river flow is, because um, it is a river um, really. Um, so at the bottom of the uh, bottom of this lake bed on this river section uh, it's really hard and the fish are obviously going up there. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just throwing a few of these out, which just cut, go down with the flow. Um, and they, they obviously like that. Um, now this is the little rig that I'm using. I've got it on uh, just some lead cores just so it stays to the bottom. And uh, a little chod rig because I don't know exactly what's on the bottom. I've already brought a little bit of stuff in on the rod that I've just moved. Um, so I've got a fang twister hook on there. Um, but what I've got is you can see like a little boom section just there. If I bring that a bit closer, you can see. Um, but these fang twister hooks really do nail them. They've just got no escape. That's, uh, I think it's a size seven, that one. And it's just boom, straight in. And a little uh, MCF lead, about two and a half ounce, just on the bottom there. And then that, because the weight's concentrated at the bottom, it really helps penetrate that hook as it tries to get away. <laughs> 